anywho, probably be part two of that video. Uh, ran out of space. This was a one owner car and then my uncle got it and he never really did anything with it. So it pretty much just sat. But interior, definitely gonna have to tear into it. Hope I can bring this leather back. I, I don't know, it might need seat covers. Um, not sure what that is, it looks like just a mat. I don't think that's, I don't think it's anything important. Find out something rare part. Floor pans are dead, it's gonna need some floor work for sure. Right, let's pull that back seat out and clean this all out real nice. And the dash is cracked as you'd expect from having a padded dash. The glove box I'm guessing is no more, it has a big mouse nest in it, yeah. I didn't look this car over too well. Uh, we'll get that sucked out. Original Chevy radio, anything in the ashtray, mouse nest, rusted shut. We'll get in there later. Uh, interior of the top looks fairly good. There's daylight there. I don't like that. Other than that, not too terrible. Do we have vanity mirrors? Of course not. <laughs> but, uh, don't know if the windows roll down. Don't know if the power top works. That kind of scares me. It's got a power top. It might be okay. This thing's just rusty. Um, give me a sec. We'll open the trunk. Okay. Well, thought we we'll had to come up. Mm. Hold on. Well, we're gonna have to save the trunk for another video. It's getting to this point and won't come up any further. The key's kind of neat looking, but that's not the original one. So I guess we'll close that up for the moment, and uh, I'll come back to that later. But uh, yeah, there's a quick little look at the new project for the uh, channel. Like I don't have enough of them. 